Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just had ice to port last remaining one on U.S. soil. Obama couldn't for eight years. Although President Trump and all of us who support him have spent the last three years being called racists, bigots, and Nazis, this week ICE was able to do something under the command of President Trump that no other president before him could. Yesterday, the Daily Caller reported that at the order of President Donald Trump, immigration and customs enforcement agents have now removed 95 year old Jackie Wallege from his Queens, New York. Pelage is said to have served as an armed guard at a death camp in Nazi-occupied Poland and later lied to American immigration officials about his role in those horrendous atrocities when he entered the U.S. after the war was over, according to Justice Department officials. Here is more via ABC News. Pelage's deportation has been a long time coming. He'd been accused of working at the Treblinka death camp, including on an infamous day in November 1943 in which 6,000 prisoners were killed according to the Justice Department's Office of Legislative Affairs. The U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum writes that SS police unit shot all 6,000 prisoners. An attachment of Jewish laborers was brought in to burn and bury the corpses. After completing this dreadful work, the Jewish laborers were shot and their bodies burned, the website reads. After falsely telling authorities he spent the war at his hometown in Germany, Pelage gained entry into the U.S. in 1949. He was eventually granted U.S. citizenship in 1957. It wasn't until 2003 that he was tracked down by federal authorities and exposed. A New York immigration judge revoked Pelagia's U.S. citizenship and ordered him to be deported in 2005. At the time, Pelage denied that he was a collaborator, telling The New York Times, he was conscripted at 18 when the Nazis took over his farm. I know what they say, but I was never a collaborator, Pelage told the paper at the time. The U.S. said in the statement about his deportation that he lied about not being involved. Pelage had lied about being a Nazi and remained in the United States for decades, the statement said. Pelage's removal sends a strong message, the United States will not tolerate those who facilitated Nazi crimes and other human rights violations, and they will not find a safe haven on American soil. The Department of Justice also allotted the deportation in an early morning email. Jaki Pelage lied about his Nazi past to immigrate to this country and then fraudulently become an American citizen, Attorney General Jeff Sessions said in the statement. He had no right to citizenship or to even be in this country. Today, the Justice Department, led by Eli Rosenbaum and our fabulous team in the Human Rights and Special Prosecutions section, formerly the Office of Special Investigations, successfully helped remove him from the United States as we have done with 67 other Nazis in the past. U.S. officials say his deportation had long been stymied by Germany's reluctance to take him in. According to a source familiar with the matter, Trump told U.S. Ambassador to Germany Richard Grenell to make Pelage's deportation his number one priority when he got to Berlin. It's unclear if Pelage will face prosecution in Germany, which had previously maintained that they were not in a position to accept him because he's not a German citizen. Pelage, who is Ukrainian-born, had been living in the Jackson Heights, Queens neighborhood for 13 years. Protesters have regularly gathered outside of Pelagia's house and the push for his deportation has garnered bipartisan support. In 2017, every congressional member of the New York delegation wrote a letter to former Secretary of State Rex Tillerson urging him to deport Pelagia before he dies. The president made no mention of Pelagia's deportation during an event Monday honoring ICE employees. Senator Chuck Schumer, DNY who was among those calling for Pal's deportation told ABC News the U.S. is no place for a war criminal. I'm glad this man is finally being sent back. He's a war criminal and did not deserve to live in the U.S. He doesn't deserve to die in the U.S., a place of freedom and equality where we respect each other's differences. This deportation comes as Belige, who was born in Ukraine and had been living in the Jackson Heights, Queens neighborhood for 13 years. Protesters regularly gathered outside of Pelagia's place of residence and had pushed for his deportation. In 2017, every congressional member of the New York delegation wrote a letter to former Secretary of State Rex Tillerson urging him to deport Pelagia before he dies to face trial in Germany. But what's perhaps the best part of this story is the fact that even though a court ordered his deportation back in 2004 both the George W. Bush and Barack Hussein Obama administration were unsuccessful when it came to actually carry out the order. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders explained in a statement released this morning. To protect the promise of freedom for Holocaust survivors and their families, President Trump prioritized the removal of Pelage. Makes you wonder how long it will take the left to start saying that President Donald Trump unjustly deported a man and separated him from his family?
That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you. Oh, 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 o